good afternoon students so we have a three or two days gap for the classes so we will start the class so we are into the 63rd class of management science subject so with this class we will complete unit 3 and from next class onwards we are going to the unit 4 which is totally problematic subject right in the unit 4 you are having majority of the problems different types of problems where you have seen till now so it is not normal uh, type of problems but these are some of the interesting problems where we can see in a real time uh, management system that is a project management right okay so in this class we'll discuss about the introduction to performance management and their concepts okay yes I think my audio is visible to you, audible to you. Okay, next. So we have completed all the topics fully. There is no lagging behind of any topic. In complete, we have completed majority of the topics as well as some of the uh, advanced topics also we have completed in all the um, HR and also in a materials management subject. And uh, the last topic we are discussing is operational changing, operationalizing changing through performance management, through doing some sort of performance in the real time work. What are the changes we can do in the operation side? That is a concept, right? So operationalizing change. So we are getting some change by some performance, right? So every day you are doing some work. So in every day you are doing the same work in the same time. So you have some sort of habit of doing the thing. But when you want to showcase, when you want to highlight it, the same work, what you have to do, you have to do some sort of performance which is unique. So Roju JSA work you can take whenever you are showing the work, performing, performing the work in a unique way is simply enhancing your work, right? So how you are enhancing your work in operation or in a factory area in any organization or management, we will discuss in this class, right? So this is the last topic that we are discussing. So if you see the marketing, so if you see the marketing, if you want to keep a business marketing, so first you have to get the bulb. What the bulb means? In your mind one problem should strike in your mind right once problem should strike in your mind then business plan, how your business plan should be so make a some scalability business or just business scalability at the measurement in the measurement means for six months is not sales or regarding to the budget what is the result you are getting right so all this should be done in this business plan, how to start the business. What is the type of commodity? Okay, what is the type of commodity? What type of business you are doing, right? Either product service or it may be a service related. So like this, you have to see the sales, how you are doing the sales. So if you are having a product and you are doing a service and you are maintaining good CRM, means customer relationship maintenance, then how much sale you are getting with these three things are getting in a union. Then how the public are there, what are the various types of public people you are having, online people, offline people, right? And coming to this one, what is this one? Settings, operations, how the operations are going on. Is there any blockage in the process or is there any problems in the uh, process? Next, so this is auditing, right? So this is a, Auditing finance people where they can see how much expenses you have done, what is the tax you have to pay, how much profit you have got, what is the income you have got, right? So making hands together. So whenever we are getting a, in a positive way, when all the business is going in a positive action, we have to go with the good customer relationship between customer to customer, between customer to management, between between distributor to the manufacturer like this there should be a positive and friendly relationship among all the types of stages okay next yeah 
so if you see this one what you are what you are observing with this figure hmm? so if you want to do any market see how the marketing is going mm -hmm. if you see outside the market strategy he is very 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 not intelligent he is very commercialized so with this side what you can see the example see if you are doing online shopping in a flipkart or in amazon and whatever the thing you are having so normal days what is the shoe rate the rate of the shoe running shoes for the men black or gray color adidas company the rate is 650 and rupees so but mrp rate is 2000 rupees 20 percent off we are going for 1600 are they when are you are getting any festivals let's see flipkart is making his own festival that is big billion billion day festival right big billion day price then what is the price here see the figure the figure of the two are same right the figure of the two are same then what was the price so initially it is a 1600 special price is also 1600 market change in the mrp change in the right so he said now the price is 18 uh, 8000 so 80 percent is gone 80 percent is gone here only 20 percent is gone so which one you will buy obviously anyone in the group let me just no slide to see which one you will buy either normal days or billion day anyone in the group normal day billion day or any festival type any message chatting audio hmm? Who will buy anyone in the group four members are there 106 Janet Khan Harish and Teja so which one do you like to buy whenever you got this type of ad no one in the group no response from your side okay I'll skip off it resting of my time So if you see the performance management, what's the concept of performance management? So you can say it is a performance management. If 85% of companies apply it, so there will be something to do which is specific, right? There is something to do which is specific. Someone said 20%. So 20% goods you are buying, right? What is this 20% group? Okay, so the one person is saying that 20% and I will purchase this one. So majority of people are seeing the percentage. Nowadays the percentage talks everything. So 20% is giving, 80% is giving. If someone said that that a cost of item is same, but in one shop 20%, but in another shop 80%. No, what the uh, students, what the consumers will do? So they will attract mainly for this 80% only, right? They will attract mainly for this 80%. But if you see the MRP, this one, 8,000 versus 2,000. 2,000 equivalent 8,000 equivalent. Then how the dealer is doing? How the businessman is doing this type of tricks? So it is one of the strategy of doing a marketing. We should be, we should be positive. We should have some good uh, awareness. We should have some good intelligence, and we have to purchase which one is worthy, right? So we have to see the product genuinity, and you have to see the price. Is it worth? Simply keeping five thousand, ten thousand is not the thing. But now the manufacturer is keeping so and so amount. We have to rate it is it worthy or not where this product is staying outside the house inside the house showcase or in the outside so like this you have to see the importance of the material as well as the service then you have to approach it okay now so what is the performance management 85 percent of the companies who apply this performance management they are going in a positive way 
so what these people will do actually so they start doing group discussions every day so if you see in a, some sort of banks like icsa bank hdfc bank uh, those who are in the recovery section and emis collect cheskodamu ka cheyipothe other process cheyadam so it is this people every day they will have some sort of uh, group discussion by the team leader every day in front of the office or inside the office uh, they will they will get ready for the meeting by the team leader every day he will only the function of the team leader is to motivate the employees that's all only motivating the employees and saying about the project so that's why in the group discussion every day we have to discuss about the current going topics whatever going in the office management school college or etc right next so if you see the definition of the performance management it is a process of ensuring individual and team effort so it is a process of it is a process of giving ensuring individual single and team effort support the organizational objectives and to realize key stakeholder expectations and to realize key stakeholders expectations and wealth creation in all identified value drivers of the organization right so it is defined as a process of ensuring the individual or the team effort to support the ob- organizational objectives and realize right key stakeholders expectations and the wealth creation on all identified value drivers of the organization so a organization lo ekkadaithe we can create wealth wealth means profit and also we will satisfy the objectives of the company by creating wealth and also the concept of stakeholders stakeholders means top management the bankers right the business other people business people man doctorates so by taking those those these people these people advice and they have to move on that is the concept of the infrastructure of this performance management right so thus we can say simply planning is a crucial right obviously planning is a crucial part very important and very hard task next stakeholders expectations are key drivers ante kada who are the stakeholders for example if you want to keep a business who are the stakeholders the bank people your auditing people your uh, superiors or any the same business expertise and the customers so these are some of the stakeholders for any organization and you have to keep them as a key key drivers for any organization next one management and employee buy in and involvement or paramount so management and employee right employer and employee buy in the involvement are very very important paramount next one link to and alignment with the strategy so everything we are going on the strategy but linking is separating the alignment so we have to link the alignment where the alignment is having a problem then we have to make a proper channel of sending the information from higher level to the lower category right and there is a link to the alignment and with strategy next if you see the performance management simply right make a plan manage your plan review your plan look at reward your plan again renew it again plan it so like this the process is a cyclic process so simply the performance management cycle performance management when a question was there so i think in the last paper i have seen the question so if any question comes so you can write about the cycle few words by taking the topic plan how to plan it renewal it renewal means just as a one year subscription or whenever uh, process you have to renew your business id right so that you will be in the market constantly that is a performance management cycle next performance management model so if you see any model of the any organization you can say how the performance management is started so see here so you are having the running performance the running performance in that you are having select the objectives 
or setting the objectives next one outlining development plans so once you have made some objectives to your company right then you have to make an outline for how to develop your company or a firm or a business you have to move in that orientation next getting commitment once you have some proper rigid standard plan of your business then you have to go for the correct and rigid commitment so that i can complete the task right next one reward performance reward performance so what's happening in the reward performance here so the people the students or college students so are having some sort of uh, rewards right link to pay results is equals to performance so whenever you are showing the good results which is equal to the performance the pay up of the scales for the employees will be in good condition next reviewing performance formal reviews access against objectives so whenever a employer want to review your performance your talent they will go with formal reviews formal interviews basic things uh, formal reviews they will do right and also access against objectives so if you want to raise a query so your objective is having some problem or we have to match your objective by adding some more things then that type of things also you have access to the performance management people next maintenance performance so monitoring the performance your performance is your at your job you have showed some performance you got have some reward but maintaining the the performance is very very important mir okate edo talent chesi oka something you have elevated and pakkan padesaru ankonde so next time you will not be in the line you are out of the line so that's why the monitoring the performance should be continuous and thorough next one coaching so after getting the performance or before performance or after performance if you are having any problems related to the performance or your workmanship so the coaching is very very important to motivating the employees next feedback so once you have done some sort of work or shown some performance so what is the next thing you have to see the feedback of the customers the feedback of the employees so then you have to give the feedback so like this in the performance management process so when you take in a simple business model all these are interlinked right so the planning performance the maintenance performance second first one is a planning performance second one is a maintenance performance third one is a reviewing performance fourth one is a reward performance right so like this you are having interlinks between all the stages so these two people these two things are carried by the business strategy the stakeholders key economic wealth drivers like a bankers this is a simple business model of a performance management model so every big medium to big organizations are having this type of performance management programs right so these are under the human resource plan people only okay next so the planning is 80% right so in the planning if you are doing 80% of the process the performance management will be click or will be fine then what is the planning includes in the performance uh, model what is the planning includes so it identify key value drivers of the stakeholders right so stakeholders ever under what are the key value value drivers means who are having or who are showing the interest towards a set up of any business right the bankers will give the loan okay and also the shopping complex or uh, your own a shopping complex owners will give the uh, rent for a shop so like this those who are st- stakeholders very very important persons gm level ceo level that like that right next defining key performance areas apa we are calling them as a apa define key performance areas for example uh you are working in any uh shopping complex right you are working in a shopping complex or you are working in a construction company so in the construction company if they give any job so that you can ready to do any job so you are having various key jobs right starting from the gate security to the high end architect or 
engineer so in between so if there is any changes so if you see some areas when is areas on take any business program service sector in that there will no there will not be any change there will not be any change or growth for example if you see the security in any office so they don't have any new changes only the thing every year they will get some increment right so the work will be same so whenever there are some areas where the performance is to be shown we have to show that type of defining the key performance areas next defining the objectives of the performance related activities so define the targets so what are the targets what are the problems you are facing with the organization targets so make some targets right so make some targets in the business so that you can acquire the uh, process how much you are kept in the pipeline next developing and training development program so this one is already known to you and uh, for, as seniors you will get this training and placement office details also right so like this you have the planning includes process next what are the benefits of this one so a well implemented performance management process is beneficial to the company to the managers and employees and what are the advantages you are having better communication right the communication is open right the communication is open communication you have better process next improved performance next one is a improved performance so every activity in a day or a week or a month so definitely there will be some sort of improvement in the work nature next training and development next one is training and development so we are giving proper training and development in order to increase the performance like uh, management employees next clarity of standards and requirements so we have to give transparency right transparency means spastanga whatever the information you have to give to the your subordinates your students your employees or your workers the information should be very very transparent right so saying 50% and hiding 50% right giving something and not giving some other things so this are all related to the negative type of things so that's why there should have some proper clarity of standards and requirements how they are maintained next placement of individuals so once a performance is done once you have done a good performance automatically your pl placing the placements will be in different different locations increase your objectivity so once you have uh, fulfilled the objectives of any company there will be definitely some sort of changes in the objectivity why because the objectivity is satisfied then what the employer will do he will keep some sort of interesting or some sort of motivational objectives so that to reach those things next remuneration so in the performance management remuneration is very very amount is very very crucial thing right so if you are paying good remuneration means right if you are giving good remuneration to an employee means you are not paying simply as a business man or a seller you are not giving simply salary to the employee so based upon his performance the remuneration will be taken to the action next promotability right promotability of this performance management so whenever you are promoting the activities whenever you are promoting the services automatically the promotability concept will have some positive advantage next career planning so in this also you are having the other topic is career planning so in the performance management so every some company some big companies in japan korea like this so they will see majority instead of quantity the quality of the product right so but our side but in india so we our intention is how much fast the product should come how much fast i should use the product how much fast i should dispose the product that is the concept running here right so next like this you are having the many benefits whenever you are keeping the performance management cell in the office got it any doubts next how to select and evaluating the performance management system so how you are selecting level of employee participation and involvement so you have to see the levels of participation 
for example levels of participation means you are conducting a college day program so you kept all the seats states so far like that so for the auditorium if you are having four sections right first level those so dignitaries second level faculty third level students fourth level non teaching or other things so whenever you are making some sort of level of employee participation and involvement automatically the evaluation and selecting will be free okay what is the second one competency based right everything should be competency based only why because in order to survive in this technology so you have some sort of competency next is this form driven or real performance management right so we have to see uh, the performance management system simply by evaluating these points like so you have to see the driver form either this real performance management is working or not working is linked towards and development so this research and development in the, in the process this is linked to the research department and development department thoroughly do does it focus on both the what and the how result achievement so this evaluating process can focus on what what happened what means and how means how happened so what means you are the responsible you are the uh, uh, key maker for any object process so whenever they are asking how then if you are saying something then you will be a victim or you will be a slow goer like this next does the process incorporate training both soft skills and hard skills so the question is in this process is for selection does the process does the process incorporate training next it is generic right it is generic and can be customized to our organizational needs and queue right so it is generic process means general process means rare and normal process and it can be understood by customizing your organization needs and culture right so whenever you are customizing everything in the present technology only the information whatever you are getting or sending will be very very easy right next what are the success factors in implementing the pm so evaluation is over next success factors what are the success factors here relevance right relevance means link to strategy clear jobs should have some identification and goal settings up to date job profiles so whatever the job you are doing for not only for inspection that will be become your habit what are the updates to be done in the job profile next second one is reliability reliability means consistent measurement anta kada so consistent measurement and rating errors so whenever you are owning any food food side or whenever you are owning any business the cons consistent measurement should be properly done right next discriminability discriminability means ability to discriminate between a good and a poor performance so you should not be there such type of discrimination between the good and poor performance performance means performance that's so, all right so you should have to show the sympathy towards the people as well as the quality type of materials to i use right next one freedom from contamination external factors should not influence measurement external factors should not influence measurement next practicality practicality easy to use ensure understandable manageable administration next acceptability so in acceptability perceived legitimacy and involvement so if you see in second unit easy to use under standable manageable administration right next legal compliance labor law compliance should be done triple e act right substantive and procedural fairness so these are the some of the seven seven type of factors to implement the performance management system next 
if you are not managing the performance well what happens to your process so here is a question here is answer and what this one if you are not managing the performance at your organization in a processed and optimizing way what happens to the management then what are the key building blocks so that we can improve our personal management is first one is a feedback you have to take the feedback to and fro vice versa right next training training should be given thoroughly training should, training should be given uh, in processed way training should be more than so on servers like this you have to go with this training block also next reward and compensation so when you are getting rewards and compensation whenever you are shown some sort of technical or some sort of any other activity in front of the people automatically the rewards and compensation will be achieved next review process so once the work is done or once you have shown some sort of performance this performance index or this performance activities will be recorded and this will be shown to the higher authorities for the review process next process design so sitting three or four friends discussing in the tv tv break or cooling break uh, your thing so if anyone is having some sort of optimization process to design so this uh, performance management will grab it next competencies competence means so in the initial days you will not be getting any confidence but as on the time goes or as on the energy goes automatically there will be some sort of performance lagging next goal setting goal setting is very very important for us right so not only a student not only a faculty not only a uh, citizen of the society every person should think minimum one duty right so the goal setting is very very important in the subject point of view okay so very straight forward questions i am discussing here why because if you see uh, what are the what is a performance management what are what are the benefits of performance management okay then what is a performance management model very simple straight forward question next benefits next evaluating of the pm right success factors in implementing the pm how you are implementing the pm and then what are the factors reliance factor relevance reliability discriminability freedom from the continuation the practicality adaptability and legal notice right as yes, our legal compliances so if you see the cycle so you can write in another simple way that is the planning planning means whatever the objectives what are the goals you are having goals you are making so put together planning next checking acting acting means doing your job and developing yourself action action act means action of doing the things next next one is monitoring so when you are you are doing any action in any business or service you should be monitored either monitored by you yourself or monitored by any other person or monitored by the through cc camera right monitoring ongoing checking coaching and improvement right next one reviewing once you have done your monitor you have given some pros and cons of every individuality review is done for this which one is good which one is bad so like this the final check in rating will be there next one planning again so again you are keeping some amount again you are getting it's like this it is a continuous cyclic process that is a management cycle right how many are there in the group okay for if you see this one the same thing with performance management uh, steps right in the, in the importance next so if you see the uh, performance management program the design and implementation how you will design and implement a performance management done much you have to write these points basic definition and the points focus on defining the new process and competences so there will be highly focusing on the new process and competences creating the tools creating the jobs creating the content and training planning the logistics for implementing the new program next change management and 
communication. Focus on getting leader engagement and buy-in policy. Creating the plan to ensure that changes are seamless at all the levels of organization. Next, developing communications. So simple way performance management means talent management plus compensation plus employee survey experience. So these three together will have this performance management program. Okay. So if you see the components of this uh, process, competences, people and tools and technology. So these are the components. For process, you are having goal setting, developing a plan, uh, reviews, coaching feedback, multi-rate feedback, end reviews, rating skills, and linked compensation. Next, coming to the competencies, competency model, application of measurement, and behavioral descriptions. If you see the people, what type of people, university and school bus unit, leadership people, management, commission, commitment, uh, capability confidence, employee confidence, and capillary, uh, capability confidence next coming to the tools the form of goal setting developing planning appraisals course distributions and the training curriculum job aids to learn new processes right so like this the performance management activities and components and concepts have been discussed right so these are the components when now they'll ask the components you have tried this one when now they're asked for the design and implementation you have tried this process and whenever they are asked the performance cycle, this one, and uh, the success factors of implementing RMS, this one, evaluation, this process, benefits, uh, and uh, the definitions, right? Performance model. Like this, the performance management concept will continue, will have every phase in any organization. Why? Because they will monitor from top end to bottom end. So that is a simple strategy right if you want to see this simple figure with this we'll stop the class so if you want to stop uh, start any small business once your btec is done so what you have to do the step one is having some thinking decide what kind of business you should like to start and choose the name next getting technical so invest in a website and get connected with the social media so in some cases you can Update in other channels also, right? Next, getting registered, obtain proper permits and business licenses, or GST, TANA, you know, to the taxpayers, to the CA people, you have to get the registration for your business. Next, banking, Up, go to the stakeholder, open the separate business checking account, credit account, and MIR, I say for this process. Next, getting branded, invest on a logo, invest on a business cards, and other promotional items next once everything is done so directly step into the market and do the technical things so like this a simple small business can be done so if you see the roadside shops very small small shops without having any educational knowledge without uh, knowing any management science subject they have started the business right so they didn't have went through all this uh, five to six steps simple thing getting material Getting maybe making some place, right? Making habit to wait, uh, general galvanic chedam, business chedam, they can do the process, right? So, with this, we'll stop the class. So, we'll continue the next class in the next session. So, the link is forward to the YouTube channel, right? Then you can watch the YouTube channel by seeing the playlist of my YouTube, right? So, so these are the activities. What the performance management is doing right so thanks for listening the class in the afternoon session it is a sleepy session but still nothing is done we have to complete the syllabus as per the rules and regulations right so from next class we'll discuss about unit 4 i'll update you whether we'll take today evening or tomorrow okay so thank you